Crossrail is the biggest construction project in Europe, carving 26 miles of new commuter train tunnels beneath the surface of London. But today, an ancient tomb filled with the coffins of Crusader knights. People don't realize that London is a giant graveyard, a modern city built on centuries of death. Because of the tomb's proximity to the Thames, half the space is flooded, is that right, There Doctor? are even more coffins submerged underwater. The tomb appears to have been built during the Second Crusade, which means it's filled with the bodies of Crusader knights who invaded Egypt before returning to England. It has also revealed a treasure trove of secrets about London's history. Clear them out, please. Ladies and gentlemen, please stop what you're doing. The train tunnel has been rerouted north of here. We are now taking control of this site. Please collect your tools and gear and exit immediately. Oi, excuse me. Excuse me, this is my site. What do you think you're doing? Evacuate your men. We'll take it from here. Thank you. 
Uh, Sarge, the civilians are gone. It's filled with insurgents down there. I guess we're too late. We can do this. Oh, no, no, no. We are too late. Command thinks we're doing advanced recon a hundred miles from here. Sarge, you're not going down there. You're right. I'm not. We are. At least call it an airstrike. Airstrike? Bad idea. A little one. Just maybe they'll run off. I think command will know where we are. And we'll do 20 years in Leavenworth for looting. Hey, what do you think? We are not looters. We are liberators of precious, precious antiquities. Right. Right. But we don't even know what's down there. Haram. Haram is what's down there. Treasure. No, the translator said Haram means forbidden knowledge. Like a curse. Around here, that's just another word for treasure. And this guy, this Henry guy, he seems to want it pretty bad. Well, now he's going to have to pay double. No, no. No, sir, I ain't going to this one. What? I'm not going. Bill? What are you going to do, stab me with that? Oh, no, 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 no. You crazy bastard. It's a full day's ride to the nearest water. The nearest water is right down in that village. Come on, Bill. Where's your sense of adventure? Well, that's just great, Nick. That's just great. Come on. Slip in, slip out, just like we always do. You son of a bitch. Oh, my God. Stronghold. 
was too late. We were discovered. We started taking on heavy fire. Well, Sir Corporal Vale here is too humble to admit it, but he risked his life to save mine. He's a hero. In fact, I'd like to recommend him for a citation. Let me run another scenario by you. Sir? One in which two assholes from long-range reconnaissance, that would be you, run all over northern Iraq just one step ahead of the enemy. Except instead of hunting for the enemy, you hunt for antiquities, stealing whatever isn't nailed down and selling it on the black market. Meanwhile, these fanatical insurgents, trying to erase 5,000 years of history, unwillingly cover your tracks. It's a pretty good scheme. Sergeant Morton? Where is it? What? Where's what? The letter. The map you stole from me. Map? I... I, I don't know what you're talking about. How would I have even had an opportunity to steal anything from you, Miss... Miss... <laughs> okay, Sergeant Morton here thinks that I'll be too embarrassed to tell you that I had him in my hotel room three nights ago in Baghdad. And whilst I was sleeping, he went through my things. I'm not embarrassed, Nick. Disgusted, yes. Regretful, oh, certainly. But mainly just amazed at your ability to mimic all the qualities of genuine human intimacy, if only for 15 seconds. Where's the map, Morton? <laughs> Sir, I admit that Miss Halsey and I did spend a delightful evening in Baghdad, a very long and satisfying evening if her reactions are to be considered sincere. But, sir, I left with nothing more than fond memories. Now, perhaps I may have neglected to say goodbye to her the next morning only because she was exhausted and I didn't want to wake her. And the reward for my gracious consideration? Well, sir, as you can see, hell has no fury. Sir. Oh, my God. It's Egyptian. Was that unusual? We're in the Persian Gulf, Bale. Right. Egypt's a thousand miles away, so it's unusual. Put those down. Hurry. Go get the rest. Got it. Colonel, this is a significant find. I need your men to secure this village. We're not even supposed to be here. It's my job to make sure that anything of value stays out of enemy hands. We have no idea what could be down there. The contents of Tutankhamun's tomb alone were valued at 650 million pounds sterling. Understand? If I may, with a couple of shape charges, we just close this one right up. Miss Halsey can come back another day. Shut, Shut up. up. Okay. You've got two hours, then we're moving out. You're getting in the hole with her. Him? Me? Yep. Sir. Uh, you gear up. That's an order. I'll be right here holding the rope, Sarge. Get the damn hole, Bill. Oh, man.
get everything out of the bags. What did I find? There's a lot of gold, Nick. I'm in a large man-made cabin adjoining the antechamber. There are chiseled stairs descending from the ledge. There's a canal at the center of them that feeds a ritual well at the base filled with mercury. Pleated skirts, scarab signet rings. This is a high priest of Amman from the temple in Thebes. There is a ritual barrier chain that surrounds the well as a warning to intruders to keep people out. There isn't a single provision made for someone's journey to the underworld. No canopic jars, no shaptis to be buried in a place like this. around the well facing inward instead of out whatever's in there those strains aren't for bringing it up they're for holding it down For what? I need specialists from Cairo. Cairo? t and suits and children come. Jenny, we are out of time. You better grab what you can now. I am not leaving until I see what's in that pool. Either. We're leaving right now. I do not come this far. Just... to get this thing out of here or he's going to have to explain why he left me behind. Do it! Come on. 
Need some help? No. You're welcome, by the way. How's that? Because I saved your whatever it is. That was safely hidden for 5,000 years before you dropped a Hellfire missile on it. And you might never have found it otherwise. Again, welcome. Do you have any idea what this is? The significance of it? An Egyptian sarcophagus in a tomb in Mesopotamia. Why'd you say 15 seconds? But it was. You told Greenway that I could mimic all the qualities of human intimacy for 15 seconds. I mean, let me tell you, it was not 15 seconds.
Being found, no obvious signs of life. Stand by. Casualty confirmed deceased. Request attendance of ambulance personnel. Over.
thank you. For what? You saved my life. You did not save
right. We've angered the gods. What? I saw her kick in the box. A minute? That one. Nick. He said, of course. Who said? Veil. Veil? The coffin we found. Sarcophagus. Whatever. There was writing on it. Hieroglyphics. Jenny, respectfully, I'm not interested in archaeological jargon right now. The writing on the box that we took out of the hole. Yes, sorry. There was something about a curse on there, wasn't there? Wasn't there? Nick. You've had a concussion. Yes. Toxic exposure. How does that explain that I know that Setepahi means my chosen? It's ancient Egyptian. How do I know that? You've been in the Middle East for years. No. You heard it. You forgot it. Why are you backing off from this? I'm telling you. She is real. Thousand-year-old prune in there. No more curse. You don't need to cover this. You need a doctor. I know someone, a specialist in London. Don't tell me that you don't want to see it too. Your life's work. Come on, Jenny. I think I know where it is.
There's a highway up ahead. How do you know? I know. Oh, my God. Do you realize what this is? The dagger set. She was going to drive that thing right through. The stone. It is missing. Yeah, it's going to really piss her off. It's real. She was a reliquary. Crusaders would use them to hide holy relics. But she knew it was there. But you're saying that she brought the plane down there on purpose? That's why she wanted you to come to the church. She wanted me to go to the church. I told you that I wanted to go to the church. I told you I said I, I wanted to see... I, I, I wanted to see her corpse. Her corpse. Nick, she's in your head. That, that is ridiculous because I'm... I drove right back to her. Oh my gosh, she's in my head.
state. Dissection, then. Dissection? You said that you'd study her. Yes, by dissection. But she's a living witness to a history that we barely know. She's a threat, Jennifer. Hold on, hold on. So, where does that leave me? Cursed, Mr. Morton. This is not some common cold you have. Some chicken soup and a good night's sleep will not make a girl may. You have been selected.
they will do with him now. Welcome to a new world of gods and monsters. Evil has many names, Mr. Morton. Take Set, for example, known to Egyptians as the god of death. In the Old Testament, Satan, Lucifer. The devil. Quite so. Bad, bad. Got it. You see, evil is the shadow that exists just outside our world. Uh -huh. Continuously searching for a way to come in.
We'll make our entry through the Northwest Trade Tunnels. Over.
It hurts. I know. Let me take the pain away. Somewhere in there, I know you're a good man. The world needs. 
is the cure. You can be that cure. A sacrifice for the greater good. He is also. 
was still a man. A good man. Perhaps. Yet he has only begun to discover his power. And we cannot know which side will win out. Between darkness and light. Good or evil. Hey, Nick. Nick. I'm really glad to be here. I mean, thank you for bringing me back to life and everything, Nick, but what are we even doing here? Where are we going? Come on, my friend. Where's your sense of adventure? Oh, no. Whatever human part of him remains, we'll search the world over for a way to break the curse, to find a cure. Yet evil never rests, and it will call to him. Always. Henry, he used his power.